And it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And you can see my 14 by 14 inch canvas resting on top of a 12 by 12 inch canvas because I want to make a ring pour. And I am going to use oranges and gold and some purple and just throw caution to the winds. And as long as I get a bunch of gold, I'll probably be pretty happy. This is a Masterminds very coppery orange. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm going to throw a little bit of white enamel in there just between layers and just keep adding colors that I like in the orange and the purple family and a little more a little black enamel which means I may get some cells. You'll get a cloud pour reaction. This is a Masterminds. Ooh, that's clogged. This is a Masterminds red Wait a minute, fire opal. And I thought that might go nicely in there, but it was open when I left and now it's not. And I wasn't gone long. Okay, so I know that's shaken up. And this is probably just your standard bright orange. And I'm not putting white in between every layer like I sometimes do. And I haven't gotten to my purple yet, but I think if I have to open it, I will. I'm going to use a little Anita's white metallic between that and my purple. It's not coming out very well, as you can see. Then I'm going to put a little bit more what? Oh, I've got some 24 karat gold with some orange in it. And I'm not sure what that is, but it's got some iridescent golden pearl fine medium in it. If you guys have questions, you feel free to ask me. I did not put a ton of gold in here. And my solution to that is this. Right down the middle. And I'm going to end with a little bit of white pearl. Maybe I'm not. Because that's what goes in the center. I can always add a little something. Oh, I forgot my, my iridescent purple flash from Folk Art, which is perfect. Now, whatever paint I have left over is probably going to go underneath if I dump it off. I said I was going to do a ring for it, didn't I? And then I did not do that. That is okay. We will survive my mistake. Now, if I wanted to leave those patterns alone, and I really, really wish I would, <laughs> I have GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures. I am going to take a Princeton Artel Catalyst Spatula and scrape out the end of that cup because I don't want to waste any of those colors at all. They're just too pretty. I am not sure that I have enough paint on this canvas to go the whole way, and even if I did, I might want to add some more paint around what I've added there. This is going in the bucket. And so is that other thing. So I'm going to take some of my regular black paint and some of my regular white paint. There's the white. I know, I just don't, I just can't do anything in a conventional way at all. Let's see what happens when we use those other paints as a catalyst to move paint. Now I'm going to get as close as I can to my edge. And I'm probably going to use some other colors like, I just got my gold in the mail today, yay. And I kind of want to even go so far as, no, that's not the tool I want. This is my Princeton, this is my OXO omelet turning spatula, available on the, on, the, uh, on the Amazon link under the link tree. Can't talk. In any case, I don't know why I did that, I just had to play. Now usually my MO would be to use an edge catcher, and I do have one handy. I was sort of attempting to think that I could make something up for beginners, but I don't think I'm... <laughs> I don't really trust myself that I'm that great at that. So I'm just going to...
experiment in new and different ways. And I can always fill in this other canvas with something else. I kind of wish I'd put a layer of white down there first. So even if this dries, I can always do something else to it. And whatever happens to this, I'm going to put it behind me. So if it drifts, so be it. And take whatever paint is on my tile and go ahead and give myself a whole bunch of orange and that 24 karat gold and then some other gold will cover up that schmutz and I'm going to grab my edge catcher because once oh stuck down hey you know what I see other paint you rotate that just going to take all that extra paint scrape it right off put it right on the canvas sorry I was gone for a second This is an extraordinary pattern. I'll let that paint run right down the side before bringing it back again. And I intend on using the paint on my edge catcher to not only cover the edge as I let it run down in a rivulet and rock my canvas against the edge catcher which keeps it from rolling down your arm by the way and I'm going to send it back in before I scrape that off which is mostly nice golden colors and then I've got all kinds of ways I'm going to grab a clean skewer. Am I? Yeah, I got one. Cool. Clean-ish, anyway. So let's just dip that skewer in next to the place we can see that there's canvas. I'm going to push a little right over the edge where it can cover that missing area. I'm going to do the same thing right on this end of the canvas. I'm going to scrape that, ed that um, spatula right off also. The, uh, the skewers will carry a bead of paint, a little rolling wall of paint right down over the edge. So I have to decide what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll that up. I kind of want to steal that paint right there. Put it back on. I've got a little more too. I kind of want some white pearl in there. I'm not sure it's a good idea yet. But I'm also going to put some black in there. And then I'm just going to mess around. Because that's my MO. Just use the paint I've got, even to the point of rolling the skewer to shed its paint. Bring this right over to the edge. I can see that I am getting some cells. I want a little bit more. Whoa, do not lose that paint. So, it wasn't a ring pour, it was a ribbon pour. And it was overlapping some. And what else do I want to do here? Anything? I want to bring that canvas back. And let whatever paint flow that way. Kind of want some more white. And I've got a strange little tail in there. So, what am I going to do with that? I'm going to put this back again. Still seems to be wet. I'm going to have a moment 
where I take the paint off my tile and put it on my edge catcher where I can actually get it before it completely dries. I did make a mess. That white is the only white on there and it's kind of, as such, it's bothering me a little bit. Well, there's white over here too. So what should I do with that? Hmm. I don't have enough gold up here. And I want some of that white pearl. Down there. And up there. Because I can. The name of my first book on the Amazon link under Show More. There's a link tree. And on that link tree, you will find an Amazon link. Where if you shop, you help me out, and it's at no added cost to you, and I really appreciate it. And thanks to everybody who does that. Really, really appreciate that. Because there's no paycheck here anymore. Even if there ever was, there is not now. It's very small. It does not pay for art supplies. Which reminds me, there is a monthly drawing, and you can access it. That was good. <laughs> you can access it on the end screens. I can take any paint that I see on my tile, pick it up with my finger, and stick it in any holes I got on my edges. So that's pretty wild, really. I'm not not complaining about this a bit. I could throw a little purple in there. It's not too Halloween-y either, which is cool, because I was like a little worried about that. And you blow things to meld them they have a much better chance of blending. Sometimes they'll blend to the point of <coughs> blend to the point of being sucked into brownness, but this is not the case at the moment. Okay, I've got plenty of paint to cover. While I've still got a minute, I did not do anything with that white there. So I'm just gonna blend that right in. <coughs> Excuse me, allergy season got tickle in my throat. Nothing more serious. I'm going to torch really quickly to get rid of the bubbles in the paint. <coughs> and I might even release some patterns. <coughs> Can't get rid of that tickle. I am getting a few sprinklings of those little tiny peppery white cells that other people don't like, but I do. I got some really wild patterns. You could probably easily have something spectacular and settle for less trouble than I caused by all of my indulgent methods. <coughs> That's really bugging me. You can also blow into the colors to release other colors. Often hiding. I have to go. Hang on. Because if I want to bring that other painting back and play with it for a few minutes, assuming this tickle will go away, <coughs> come on, release. Dead air, not a good thing. So that's pretty cool. We got a wicked mess. <coughs> and that's so strange. So what I'm thinking is that I'm just going to put some colors. <coughs> that's rude. <coughs> I so apologize. whatever it is tomorrow. I'll finish up by adding something else to it. Because I love all those funky little shapes. <coughs> it's par for the course working outside in Florida. I really could just leave it alone. 
because it's kind of neat. I know I could also play with the skewer, so I might do that until you guys are gone. And I've only got a minute before I'll tell you guys whatever else I'm supposed to tell you, which is please give me a thumbs up. <coughs> hmm. I'm just going to run the skewer up and down in between those lines. And if I happen to have anything left over, I'll put it somewhere else. I really could tip, but I like the pattern so much I'm sure that they would disappear. That is an Anita's metallic. My goodness. Something must have just started to bloom. Never had allergies before I came to Florida. Alright, so that is what it is, and I think what I'm going to do... What am I going to do? Am I going to tip that a little bit? Because I can? All right, I've got two minutes to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you. I'm going to take the paint off my edge catcher, put it right there on the edge of that canvas, because it's kind of cool. Tickle's finally gone, yay. <laughs> and uh, kind of feeling like just sticking my finger in a few places might be a worthy experiment. Of course, I've got orange on my finger, so that's going to be different. These canvases are primed, so if you did this and you had something you really liked, then you got something you really like, and you don't have to fix it. I think that's probably as cool as I need it to be until the next time I work on this. So this is a good experiment for all of us to find out if we can take what I got today and work on it tomorrow. And what could I do? I don't know. I could I could tell you guys I appreciate you guys sharing my videos. Thank you very much for that. And shopping my Amazon link. Thank you very much for that. My books are Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. And they are on the Amazon link. Hello, show more under the link tree. Thank you for the thumbs up. Shop my Teespring if you're interested in all of our print leggings or t-shirts. There's some awesome stuff there. You can find pictures of the clothing under the video. But you can also find my store on the... <laughs> on my channel header, or you can also find the community board, which will show you tomorrow's video often, or yesterday's, or what's been what's been going on and how to access that. I kind of want to um, throw something right down that edge, like paint. All right, so this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, you're probably gone by now. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and I do sell my artwork, and my email address is right under the Linktree link in case you need it. Ask me questions, and I'll answer your questions as I can. I love you guys. There's almost 87,000 subscribers. If you're looking for a channel with no commercials, try Phoenix Rising Priscilla Batsell Art. I will talk to you guys anon. I might throw some black on the edges a few places, and then I'm done. I might even actually work on this for another moment. Cool patterns. If I primed that white beforehand, it might be a real keeper. But as it is, it's just a good experiment. And I like the purple edges, so I think I'm going to do that <coughs> everywhere. Just the tiniest drop of paint especially with this purple color because even though it's sheer it's very dark I can just push it up toward that edge you guys check out my 